we've seen a lot of pictures of the people in the news, and we've got to know a lot of them by sight. Chamberlain with his umbrella, Winston Churchill with his hats, or Belisha, well, we know him quite all right. But there's one whose lovely photograph we've seen for years and years, and we ask ourselves this question every time his face appears. Who is this man who looks like Charlie Chaplin? What makes him think that he can win a war? It can't be the moustache. That only makes us laugh. And Charlie's done it better, and before. If it wasn't for the boots and cane and trousers, you couldn't tell the two of them apart. But the whole idea's absurd. Charlie's never said a word. An Adolf couldn't play a silent part. And imagine Adolf starring in the gold rush. He hasn't got a half of Charlie's charm. But he gives a lot of troubles to his film director, Gubbles, when he plays the leading part in Shoulder Arms. He's amusing when he tries to play the villain. It's bound to get a laugh in every climb. I believe it's all a fake-up. And in spite of all the makeup, we are convinced it's Charlie Chaplin all the time. And supposing Charlie Chaplin got the fever? A war would be a comedy, pro tem. Imagine Adolf getting skittish, signing pacts with Goman British, and dropping custard pies on MGM. Charlie Chaplin would be bigger, louder, funnier. With him in charge, the battles would be fun. And the chief of his Gestapo wouldn't be Karl Marx, but Harpo. And he'd soon have Shirley Temple on the run. Mm? If Adolf was in pictures, he'd try sob stuff. East Lynn would be his story as a start. Little Eva, played by Goering, would be a trifle boring. I'd sooner see Charles Lawton in the part. But don't let us be too hard on poor old Adolf. He's a godsend to the comics. He's sublime. Cartoonists love his makeup, but one morning we shall wake up and find it's Charlie Chaplin all the time. Yavol.